One of the features in modern electronics that has become more common in recent years is wireless charging. This is something that for the most part video game consoles have lacked. Even the most modern handheld gaming consoles do not have wireless charging capabilities, let alone retro consoles. That is until now. So how easy is it to add wireless charging capability to the Game Boy Advance SP? Well, it's easier than you may expect. Let's roll the intro. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Tito and welcome to another episode of Retro Renew. So today we're gonna give this Game Boy Advance SP the ability to charge wirelessly. This is something that I've been very excited to do and to be honest, it was a lot easier to achieve than I thought. Now, I can't take all the credit for this mod. There was a post on the Game Boy subreddit which gave some top level instructions and also had a link to an Instructables page which provided some further details. I have links to both of those posts in the description below if you wanna check them out. While the post on Reddit and the Instructables page did accurately describe the mod, there were some things that were not totally clear and if followed may cause the mod to not work. But I'll get more into that a little later in the video. As usual, I'll first go over all the parts you need to do this mod, and I'll of course have links in the description below if you would like to purchase them. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is this Qi standard wireless charger receiver module. This one has about 5 volts of power output, which is more than enough to charge the Game Boy Advance SP. It's also fairly thin, so hopefully it'll make placement easy. As far as placement is concerned, the reference Reddit post put the wireless receiver module in the top half of the console behind the LCD. While it may be easier because of the available space in the top half of the console, I'm not a huge fan of laying the console upside down in order to charge it. My goal is to place it somewhere on the bottom half of the console so we can have it right side up while charging. The next thing you'll need of course is your Game Boy Advance SP console. So this is a completely stock AGS-001, but this mod will work for any SP model, even if it's modded with, say, an IPS display. So that's really everything you're gonna need. If you wanna try this mod yourself, I'll have a link to this wireless charging receiver in the description below. All right, without any further ado, let's dive right into the installation. To start, remove the battery by unfastening the Phillips screw for the battery door. Then remove the remaining six tri-point screws and then the rear shell housing itself. As far as disassembly of the console, that's all we need to do. Next, we need to make a small hole in the shell in the portion that is right behind the charging port. The reason for this is one, to provide additional space behind the port for the wires we'll be soldering, and second, my intention is to place the charging receiver inside the battery compartment behind the battery door. All right, let's go ahead and make the hole. For this, as usual, I'll be using my craft knife and a file. No need for power tools here. Great, so now that we have our hole made, feed the wires of the wireless charge module through the hole so we can go ahead and solder them to the charge port. Now, this is where things get a bit confusing if you follow the instructions that I found online. They say that we need to solder our power wire to pin 3 and the ground wire to pin 6. So while looking at the pinout diagrams, what they show is correct, but our soldering is taking place on the PCB, and pin 3 on the PCB is actually not power. Before filming this video, I attempted the mod to make sure I could get it to work. So I followed the instructions and soldered the wires to pin 3 and pin 6 on the PCB. After soldering the wires, I attempted to charge the SP and for some reason it didn't work. So I pulled out my voltmeter to find where pin 3 from inside of the power port correlates to the pinout on the PCB and found that it actually corresponds to pin 2 on the PCB. So while the instructions were correct, they did not indicate which pin on the PCB we needed to solder to. Anyway, now that we know where to solder our wires, let's go ahead and do it. Our ground wire, which is copper in color, goes to pin 6, and our power wire, which is red in color, goes to pin 2.
Now all we need to do is reinstall the rear shell. Don't forget to reinsert the retaining nut back into the shell for the battery door. So, my intention is to put the charging receiver on the battery door and secure it with some Kapton tape. Unfortunately, the module is just a bit too thick for this and I'm unable to close the battery door. Nevertheless, we now have wireless charging capability for the Game Boy Advance SP. So unfortunately, this did not work out as I wanted. While we could have put this in the top part of the SP, I am determined to get this working on the bottom. I currently have two ideas on how to achieve this. The first is to retrofit a thinner lithium polymer battery into the battery compartment to leave enough space for the wireless charging module, such as this battery here. Or second, I could make a custom battery door that will slightly protrude from the SP console, making more space for the charging module and potentially making additional space for a larger battery as well. I've ordered a 3D printer, so hopefully that'll get here soon and I'll start making some designs. The great thing about this build is that it will work with any Qi enabled wireless charger and is extremely convenient. If you already have one of these at your home, you won't need to fuss around with wires anymore. For now, we have a working concept, but I am determined to make this the perfect build. So if you had to choose between using a thinner battery or having a custom battery door, which would you go with? Do you want to retain the current look of the console or are you okay with having a slight bulge on the bottom of your SP? I'd be really interested to hear what y'all think and depending on the feedback, I'll do a follow-up video for the most popular solution. So be sure to leave a comment below and let me know which solution you like better. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Macho Nacho Productions. I release content every Thursday, so be sure to turn on notifications. And as always, we'll see you next time.